Gotta get a tarp over the chair. This creepy guy. Oh no, not another wood spirit. No! So, this is a piece of spruce, okay? You guys will notice this grain is face grain. I've said in lots of my videos before, the hardest face to carve, the hardest surface to carve a face is on a flat surface. You know guys, like on my other videos, I'll say like try to carve that triangle piece or on a round branch or something like that. This is the hardest surface to carve a face because you gotta make all the depth yourself. You know, you don't have any help from the roundness or the triangle, the triangle to make the nose pop, right? So all this depth in this face gotta come myself. So but this is gonna be a video of me having fun. Okay, there, I don't know if you guys, some of you guys might have seen one of my chainsaw carving videos where I I, I burnt it, it was cedar, I burnt it and then I sanded it, then I painted it red and all the wood grain popped out. And I just used spray paint, okay? And I never really knew anything about it. But there's a girl that's a, subs, a new subscriber. God, she's got a long name. Giovanna, I think she goes by Joanne on our live feed, okay? And she recommended me to this channel. Build, Dad, Build. So thank you for that. And I watched uh, Build, Dad, Build. And there's other channels that do this stuff on this too, guys. Uh, do stuff on this stuff. Ah, do, do um, videos on this stuff too. So what this is. But this is a shout out to Build Dad Build. I like his videos. He's uh, pretty entertaining. I think he likes to have a shot of whiskey here and there. Um, but he's a dad. He says he's got twins and a uh, boy too. But I watched a few of his videos. And you guys, I'm kind of, I am not. I don't know if I'm like you guys, but I'm a little, little bit picky on my videos, who I watch and stuff like that, you know? Somebody might be the world's best carving, carver, artist, and if I, watch their videos and I don't like that person as a person well I just don't watch the videos simple as that you know what I mean I just don't and lots of people probably don't like my video I'm sure tons of people probably don't like my videos <laughs> so build that build I'm gonna carve this wood spirit here and uh, I'm gonna burn the hell out of it with my torch guys not just a light burn but I'm gonna burn this thing so it chars so there's like that much char on it, okay? There's a term called Shousogi Ban. Shusogi Ban or something like that. Shusogi Ban. It's Japanese, okay? So what they used to do to, to uh, make the wood last longer, preserve the wood, is they burnt it. They charred it on the outside of their houses and their villages or something like that. I believe so. And you guys, I'm carving fusion. I call it carving fusion. Because fusion is, if I want to carve Japanese, if I want to carve native, I'm going to carve whatever I want to carve. I don't care. Okay, I'm a Heinz 57. I'm a white guy. I'm a Heinz 57. I don't even know what my background is. Scottish or Dutch or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to carve whatever I want to carve. That's what the fusion is about. Like, I'm going to mix Japanese with natives. And I know the natives also used to um, burn their, their cedar uh, logs to preserve them too. Okay, 
This is how you spell it anyway. Show Sogi Ban. Show Sogi Ban. Sogi is actually a Japanese tree. And guess what, guys? It's a cedar type of tree. I have a big cedar beam. Uh, I think it's 10 by 10 or 12 by 12. That's really bright like this. Last night when I was watching these videos, I was like, I'm going to go do a chainsaw carving of it. And I'm going to actually use cedar and do it. It's real bright cedar. But then I woke up this morning and I says, nah, I'm not chainsaw carving today. I've just been carving friggin' Christmas trees too much. I'm going to stay, stay at my home and take it easy and just do a simple carving. There's going to be a lot of carving on this, guys. A lot of carving. So after I'm done burning it and then cleaning it up with a, I don't know, they say to use a, a brush, like a dishwash brush, what are those? I can't think of, the, think of the name, you know, just like a scrub brush, certain things, and then, do. but I'm going to clean it up the way I clean it up, okay? I already cut this out with a, my chainsaw, but you can use your bandsaw or do whatever you want to do, guys. I just didn't want it to look like a square piece of wood, okay? So I've, this is going to be all open up here so you can see the grain and the wood. So after I'm done carving this, burning it the hell out of it, and then cleaning it up, you're going to see black lines in here. This is the hardwood right here, or softwood. I don't know. It's one of the, you're going to see the, the burn marks in this. You guys have seen lots of my burning videos, okay? So, but then I'm going to use this wood stain, cherry base, not cherry base, cherry base, water base wood stain, okay? It's just what I had local, guys. It's what I bought. So, this is what I'm going to use. I, everybody has their own brands and own stuff and own stuff and some people might want to use pine wood or cedar but I'm doing this in spruce today because it's what they had and I'm using this stuff okay so let's get on with the uh, I'll start carving you guys if you want to learn how to carve a wood spirit the way I do I got a full tutorial in my um, playlist okay and also you guys think that I'm gonna be burning the hell out of this thing okay so I'm thinking beforehand that well, if I burn it, I'm going to lose all the detail. So this is going to be a very simple wood spirit carving. It's going to be like a silhouette, a ghost wood spirit in the wood when I'm done burning it. There's no sense carving too much detail on it because you're just going to burn it all the way. Okay, I'll stop talking now. Shut up, Jordy. Okay, guys, on this carve today, since there's so much wood to take out, I'll be using my uh, Fordham Industrial Flex Shaft and again with my cut saw. This is quarter inch. This one's kind of dead now. I've had it for half a year. Um, go to the description below and use the code CFUSION at Cutsaw and save yourself uh, 5%. And so this is the Fordham. And I'll be using my Dremel Flex Shaft, Dremel 4300 with this Cutsaw bit too. This is 1 8 fits in your uh, die grant, your uh, Dremel Flex Shaft, okay? Dremel 4300 I'm using today. But you guys, I like the Cutsaws the best. Because they last me the longest. You can see how aggressive it is. And um, yeah, they just, I don't know, they outlast the other brands for me. They, the extremes do for sure. Anyways, okay, so yeah, I got a lot of wood to carve here. Uh. what I got so far I just quickly hit it with my sander because remember guys I'm gonna be burning the hell of, out of this I use my cut my um, industrial flex shaft with the quarter inch cuts all to get these bigger lines because I didn't want to do little lines because you want to see the wood grain you know what I mean you want to see this different grain stuff in here right like see those layers and they say to use lighter wood too so and I carved those lines up there 
I don't know. Why'd you carve those lines up there, Jordy? Well, I carved those lines up there because I wanted to carve those lines up there. <laughs> Do what you want, guys. But you can see the different wood grains up here. So the lighter and darker stuff. So so I hit it quickly with my little flap sander too, guys. This, uh, this thing I show it on all my videos. Emery cloth on your Dremel flex shaft. Run it really slow. This is 60 grit. Okay, so um, I'm going to take this outside now and torch the hell out of it. So just before, because what I'm filming out there, I'm just going to film for a few seconds burning it. So, but they say to do one burn, one light burn, then spray it with uh, water in a little spray bottle. Stops it from warping or something, they say, and uh, or cracking maybe. So I'm going to spray it. Okay, burn it, spray it, burn it, spray it a bunch of times. So I see this wood really charred, like cracking apart, right? And what I'm going to do too, before I do that, is I'm going to paint in the mouth and in the eyes first with black dollar store paint because... Um, I don't want to burn too much in that mouth because then you'll burn this whole bottom lip away and you'll burn the eyebrows away. And the nostrils, I haven't carved the nostrils in yet. I'm going to do that after I'm done torching this because you'll burn the nostrils away and then the nostrils will be way up here, right? So I'll carve the nostrils in after. I'll put some black paint in there. I'll give it some burning and scuff it up too. So... There we go. Burn away, burn away, burn away. Carving Fusion custom paint trays, guys. Sell them for 2,000 bucks. Buy one while they last. They work great and they're disposable too. Okay, I think I heard somebody say don't use the map gas. I think the map gas is the yellow tanks, but whatever. This is propane. <laughs> I got my water sprayer right there too. Okay, I think we're pretty on point with this carving. There's a couple spots in here I didn't burn too well, but I could put black paint in there later, okay? So you guys can see how this is really charred. Okay, there's two ways they talk about it, okay? About burning your wood. They say that you can just sand the wood first and give it a light burn so it will make things uh, blacker and whiter, whatever, okay? But there's this, this way of really charring it, like, you know what I mean? Like, really getting in there and burning it deep. Because when you do that, that's that will bring out the total different grains in the wood and you'll get different colors in there. So this is the way, in my opinion, I think it should be done. Okay? Burning it really deep. You know, so you see, when I showed you guys the video, you can see hot coals on the edge of the wood. That's my opinion anyways, guys. I think if you give it a light sand and a light burn, I don't think you're really penetrating the wood. Okay, but that's just me. I know we'll get some people saying, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. And this, this spirit is supposed to look like a ghost. Anyways, I didn't do any detail on it. So it doesn't matter because if I burn away some of the nose, it's just supposed to be a, like show what it is. It's not supposed to be all detailed and stuff like that. 
Okay, so they say to get a, I don't know, a brush or something like that. Whatever. This, this is a brush I got. It's a skull brush, actually. And just to uh, brush it away. Okay, so that's what, that's what I'm doing. I haven't really seen too many of them use sandpaper. You guys, you can see. I didn't say this is spruce, guys. So you can see here, you can start to see some of the green of the wood really pop now how it's darker there. And you get you get ripples like it's bumpy there and that black line it's bumpy like these lines it'll be bumpy because this where the black lines is that's harder wood then there'll be softer wood right harder wood softer wood so it gets like a ripple effect so I'm gonna keep on brushing this and uh, get it cleaned up I'm thinking that I'm gonna probably use a real fine sandpaper on my little buffing wheel so I can get some real, some real brightness of this wood to pop. So when I dye it, then it will, it will look really bright in some areas, right? Just a little bit, some areas. Okay, you can see I got most of it brushed off, but I need it to be lighter. I need inside here to be lighter than here, because when I put the red dye in, this thing will just be too dark. You guys just remember too, this is just my opinion, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my little flap sander. I'm going to put some, uh, I think, uh, maybe 220 grit on it and hit it a bit with the flap sander thing that I use on my Dremel to try and make it a bit more brighter. But I'm pretty, actually, i got to carve the nostrils in too. So I'm going to do that. I'll carve the nostrils in, paint them black. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, guys, you see I got his nostrils cut in there. Paint them dollar store paint. Where this is stuff here. Okay, dollar store a buck. Use my custom card infusion paint trays. So now I got this, my uh, little Dremel flex shaft with this emery cloth. See it's cloth back, really soft. This is super soft stuff, super soft. And uh, this is 240 grit. I don't know if this is gonna be enough grit to make it whiter, but let's give her a shot. I love my new camera holder. Okay, let's, let's try it out. Look how bright it's going, guys. Okay, there you go. See how bright it's going. And it's not even really leaving too much scuff marks. That hole was already there. Okay, so let me just uh, get this done. I'm gonna clean this whole thing up, make it brighter, so you just really see those black lines. Okay, so let me get it done and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, so we got it light lightened up now. You, now you guys can really see that wood grain. You know what I mean? It actually looks real beautiful. So I can't wait to get this dye. I don't know, cherry was the closest color to red they had. I don't even know if I need to dilute this stuff or whatever. I gotta read the instructions. I hate reading instructions, but I better do it. Okay, so we'll do that and uh, we'll stand it. Let's do it. Let's die her up. Yeah. Okay, so they said uh, shake this. They said it's concentrated. I don't know. They said shake it real well. I shook it good. Okay, I got a little dollar store cup here. Got some in here. Got this dollar store foam brush. And uh, let's get this stuff applied on. They say to wipe on, wipe off. I don't know. I, you guys, if you want to leave a hater comment, go ahead. I really don't care. I'm just doing it the way I think I kind of want to do it okay so I guess this is the way I want to do it okay let the games begin let's just try up here first and let's oh it's got stayed pretty dark Oh well, maybe I'm supposed to mix this stuff with water or something. Ah, 
should stop right now before I get carried away and uh, wipe it off. So we don't want to get it too dark. I don't really have a lot of patience for this kind of stuff, but whatever. You gotta open up your mind, guys, and watch other people's channels and uh, challenge yourself. Try something new. I know I do lots of wood spirits, but this is this is new what I'm doing. Okay, so I'll finish this off and we'll see how it looks uh, when she's all done. Okay, got the new uh, carbon fusion stickers on my tree spring uh, account, guys. In the description below, you'll see shirts and all that stuff. I think there's shirts like this too. So, there it is, it's finished. Now, I don't know if I was supposed to dilute that dye before using it because it was pretty thick. But, am I happy? Yeah, I like it. I'm glad I put those things in the wood up there. You know, you guys remember too, I knew that I was carving, I knew I was gonna be making. Nice, Jordy, real nice. There goes the fight for steam condition of the carving. I knew I was uh, carving this not going to have much detail, but you can still see lines in the wood from the carving the bigger beard hairs. You don't see how it's flowing now. But you guys can see that dark wood in this spruce. How those lines really stay. You know, it's, it's like a ripple effect there too now from all, each, each, um, ah, I can't forget the word. Each, um, whatever, it's bumpy there. So that's, that where it's black, that's the harder wood in this spruce. That's what I was trying to say in the spruce. I think I've carved spruce once before. It's pretty fuzzy wood. It's actually, it was actually super, super simple to carve. But yeah, no, I'm happy with it. It's, it's challenging yourself, guys, trying new stuff. It's a simple look of wood spirit, but how can you put detail into it when you're burning it? Super soft wood, guys, you're gonna burn away the detail. You see how cool that looks, right? Build Dad Build. You guys go check out his uh, channel. And the girl there, thank you. Yeah, Build Dad. You know, like it helps to uh, Build Dad Build. It helps to, um, for all my subs out there, people wanting to learn wood carving or woodworking. He does woodworking, he builds things too. He's He carves, he carves more like um, with your router and uh, Dremel. He does, he carved a skull too and he burnt it. I think he's just having fun. And that's what it's about guys, is just having fun, you know, enjoying yourself, challenging yourself and opening up your mind. You know what I mean? Watch other channels guys. Lots of channels on how to do wood spirits. You know, you can use that Robbie Brief, check out his channel now. He's on vacation right now for Thanksgiving with his wife, but He'll be back and he'll give me, be giving more tutorials on how he does knife whittling with his knives, how he uses his dremels and all that stuff, guys. So just uh, keep at it. And uh, I love reading the comments in the description. In the, uh, I love reading the comments where you can leave a friggin' comment. Okay, hope everybody's good. Cool color of that wood, eh? The lighter wood you use, the better. My opinion.